right guys well today we are in my closet taking a look around at my most worn items and I thought I would start off with what I'm wearing because I'm definitely a t-shirt and jeans girl and more specific a gray t-shirt I would say I have several but this is definitely my favorite so I thought I would share this and then we'll just go around the closet um, you know basically talking about my favorite shoes, my favorite tops, things that I've had for a long time and that I definitely reach for over and over. So I wanted to do this because I thought maybe it'd give you an idea of some things that maybe you're missing out of your wardrobe. And I thought it would just be cool to give you a closer look at things I actually gravitate towards, not just maybe what you see me in a picture of on Instagram or, you know, a little bit in a video. So these t-shirts, like I said, I have a few different colors in them. I love these shirts. They're a little bit more for a t-shirt than you would pay, obviously, like at Target. But I find they hold up really well. I wash them and dry them. Um, I am wearing a small. Sometimes I feel like um, they can stretch out a little bit, but I don't feel like I would want to size down in these because I don't want them being tight in the shoulders. And as far as jeans, um, the jeans I have on, and I'll try to insert some pictures here of me wearing things when I have them, I pretty much get questions about two pairs of jeans. Um, these that I'm gonna show you and then these that I have on. So I would say my two favorite brands are Cut From The Cloth and American Eagle. They just both fit me really well. And I like with American Eagle that I can get them in the short length so that they will be ankle length on me. I'm 5'5 and I find if I get the short, they're perfect. These particular ones I have on are the jegging and each year they come out with a little bit different variations and colors. These from Cut From The Cloth um, have a released hem. And again, I've worn these several times. Um, I had shown them in a recent Nordstrom try on video. I had gotten these last year, but I think in the anniversary sale, they had several from this brand on sale. And I, anything I speak about, if I can still find um, links on them, I will put them in the description box below. So these I really like because they have some stretch to them. I did size down a size in cut from the cloth. It's like one pair, like my white um, cut from the cloth, I did not, but these I did. And these just have like a little bit of distressing here, the frayed edge hem, which I really like. And these, both of these pair of jeans, um, and I have these in a darker wash as well, I can just grab them and I know they're gonna look good with everything. So another pair I want to talk about are these Wit & Wisdom jeans. Um, these are in the olive and I also have them in the blush pink. And then I most recently purchased them in um, this color right here. They are so soft. I love them. They fit almost more like a pant than a jean. So they don't have that typical um, denim feel if you're looking for that. But I know so many of you have purchased these and say that you love them as well. I find them to be true to size. Some of you have said you've sized down. They do have quite a bit of stretch to them, but I'm not sure um, if they would fit how I like sizing down. So I just have my true size. They do come in petite as well, and I believe in plus size, but I do buy the regular length, um, and they definitely are an ankle length on me. So while I have this cabinet open, um, this is where my jeans are and my shorts. And then I switch out the shorts in the wintertime and usually put some of my comfier lounge clothes and pajamas in here because you know they're a little bulkier that time of year um, and then I have some sweatshirts living up top but I get asked about this sweatshirt every time I wear it and I also have it in a coral color this is from the BP brand at Nordstrom and sadly they no longer make these or I would have them in every color um, it's kind of a little bit of a burnout sweatshirt but I wanted to bring this up, um, one when I was putting the jeans away, I saw it, but I wanted to bring it up because I find a lot of similar style sweatshirts and colors and that real just soft, cozy feel from American Eagle. So definitely check out American Eagle and sometimes I will link them in place of these when I can, but American Eagle and Old Navy actually have really good, nice uh, looking sweatshirts. So talking about two classic pair of pants that I absolutely love. You guys have seen me wear these a ton. 
on um, vacation videos and in my Instagram is a pair of black ankle pants and a pair of navy ankle pants. I just feel like these are wardrobe must-haves and they're definitely two pairs that I reach for all the time. This black one pretty much comes with me on every vacation because a great black like skinny ankle pant just goes with everything. You can wear it with all kind of different shoe options and to me it's just a wardrobe staple. I like different kinds of black pants but I find I reach for these the most. And again same with the navy. So many shirts in my wardrobe whether it be long sleeve or short sleeve go with both of these and you can make so many different outfit combinations out of them so these definitely are my most worn another pair of must-have pants i have a couple of different ones are some black joggers you guys know if you follow me on instagram that i travel in these quite a bit i like it because they go with different style of shoes you could dress them up a lot of them depending on the fabric and how nice looking they are if they're not too casual um i usually don't do that i just wear them very casual but i like that they go with a variety of different like tops and jackets and again uh, a black jogger is definitely one of my favorite things to travel in. So this is actually a new item that I just got. It's from Stella and Dot, their fall collection. I just put it on my Instagram. It's a poncho. It comes in a couple other colors too. This is new so I just got it so it's definitely not a most worn yet but I have a feeling I'm going to be living in this so I'm actually going to put this up since it was hanging right here. So these layering tanks I absolutely love because you can put them over under pretty much anything like a cardigan in the fall, uh, a blazer, they look great. And then in the summer you can wear them by themselves. So these are just a few examples. This is my newest one that I actually haven't worn yet, but a couple of different uh, stores make these. So I will list below which ones I love and sizing and everything. So I actually have all of my plain t-shirts like this in my dresser over in my bedroom. They're not actually in my closet. But a few other t-shirts, like especially if they're more drapey and they don't fold well or like stripes or long sleeve, I keep them in my closet. Now my number one favorite is actually in the laundry room because I need to steam it. I just washed it but it's very similar to this one and that's actually been a bestseller for me and it comes in other colors but basically a white t-shirt that has a little bit of drape to it you guys have seen me wear this like on vacation tons it's all over my instagram i pair it with so many things so definitely that white tee this one um is actually my second favorite this one's from banana republic and then a long sleeve striped tee i have a short sleeve striped tee as well so a striped t-shirt, a white t-shirt, and a gray t-shirt are definitely my must-haves that I feel like I'm always pulling out because they just go with anything. It's like when in doubt, that's kind of my comfort zone. Gray, white, and a stripe. These are my two new ones hanging here I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. All right, so let's focus on some shoes. I would have to say uh, most worn in my closet are definitely going to be some Javianas. I love Javianas just throw in your bag, you know, for vacation or running out to anywhere, the mailbox, you name it. You guys also know how much I love my van. So I have this like grayish white pair and then the dark gray. These get so much use, I cannot even tell you. These definitely are my go-to shoe for slip-on because they still look, you know, put together. They're not a tennis shoe. I just love vans, my absolute favorite. And then of course I have these. I'm not sure if you can get this pink color, but they do come in some other colors. You guys know I've worn these to death. They are my go-to Sam Edelman loafer. I would love to have these in another color, but they're often sold out in my size, but absolutely love these. Again, they just go with everything and they're super, super comfortable. I love the pop of color. So I had to talk about these because a lot of you have seen me wear these on vacation. It has a nice low heel. They look good with jeans, you know, just all kind of things. And they're actually back again. Um, I got them from Target a year or so ago and they have them back. Usually they bring them back each year, but I was happy to see I recently saw them. They're so comfortable and I just love that the heel's a little bit lower. So if you don't want to wear much of a heel, um, again, these are a great vacation staple shoe. These are actually new, but they are kind of a new version, a little bit different color of those. The heel is a little bit lower, and I really liked the idea of wearing these with like shorts or jeans, so I will link these for you. Again, they're new, um, but they were different enough from those. These are another wo most worn shoe. Um, these are my black Tory Burch Millers, and I also have um, the patent down here, but I have to say I find the regular leather 
most comfortable. Uh, the patent is a great color, but they're not near as comfortable, I don't think, as just the regular leather. And so for that reason, I find myself grabbing towards the black ones. And I just had to mention, even though these are newer in my wardrobe for this summer, these will definitely um, be replacing my Millers a lot for a different alternative. I find I'm wearing these in place of the nude patent Millers. So love these. They are super, super comfy. I have an old pair that have seen probably better days, but these are another pair of Sam Edelman sandals that I've worn to death with the leopard. They still make these. So these are definitely my most worn heel. Um, if you guys follow me on vacation uh, videos, you know I often say, oh, and I'm wearing my Calvin Klein heels. So these are the Calvin Klein heels. I like that they have a little bit of platform in the front, but you don't really notice it a lot. So I have recently bought something else with more of a block heel just because these are kind of getting a little worn out. But these are definitely my most worn uh, strappy ankle heel because they're comfortable. So an alternative to those would be these from Sam Edelman. Um, I really like this. It's not as high as the Yarrow sandal. I don't remember the name of this one, but it has the scalloped edge right here. And I really, really like these. These are, like I said, a great alternative because they're not quite as high, but they're still a nice high heel and a nice nude color. And then I have some pumps and things. I mean, I wouldn't say pumps are my most worn shoe because I don't find them that comfortable, but I do have your standard black nude pumps. Um, you know, wedges and everything like that. Again, I go through stages with wedges, so I wouldn't say they're my most worn shoe in my closet. These are not all of my shoes. Um, I, I have a few under there, like different colors of loafers and stuff, more like I bring them out in the fall. So these are kind of summer shoes and I kind of rotate out in the fall. And then I have my um, tennis shoes and things like that behind there. So as far as like my sweaters and my long sleeve shirts and all that, again, it depends on the time of year, but I can definitely tell you some of my um, basics. So one would be this J. Crew shirt. I absolutely love this. This travels with me everywhere. It's kind of expensive for a chambray shirt, but I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of it and I absolutely love it. It's just a great staple piece. I would say a lot of my plaid shirts are most worn. I have a thing for plaid for sure, um, but definitely some of these lightweight sweaters are my most worn. This is from J. Crew again as well. Um, just absolutely love these because they're lightweight. You can layer with them in the spring or summer. It's a great classic sweater. So some of my most worn cardigans are just a plain black. This one is starting to show its age a little bit, but it's nice and thin. I got this from Target. They often come out with these same ones every year, and I'm hoping they do so I can get a replacement because I like how thin it is. It's great for travel. And then I will end with my two Barefoot Dreams cardigans. These are both in the anniversary sale, I believe. I'm not sure if they're still um, available. They were going in and out of stock, but this is the circle cardigan. And I loved this one so much last year. This was my first one I bought during the anniversary sale last year. This is the hooded one and it really pretty brown. I loved this one so much that I paid full price for this one later on because I really wanted a light color. And I just love the style of both of these. Um, if I had to pick, I would maybe do the circle cardigan over this, but I just love the look of this one too. They're both totally different. And I just feel like, you know, they wear really well. I've had, you know, this one for a year, it still looks brand new. Um, this one I've not had as long, but you know, just a few months after this one, they both look great. And I swear it's one of those, the first thing that I pull out in the mornings in the fall um, when it's cooler. I just absolutely love both of these. So I hope you guys enjoyed a little peek around my closet and what some of my most warm, most reached for items were. were. Of course, this does not even cover half of my clothes and pajamas and things like that. If you guys would like to see um, different categories of my most worn, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you back. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and be here with me. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!